started WCHA play, uh, coaches slotted your team fifth uh, in the league to start the season. Where do you kind of see this team fitting in with the league right now? I think this weekend will be a good uh, indicator for us. Uh, we're excited to get into WCHA action. And, you know, I, early season rankings are pretty much based on last year. So I think as we get further along in the season, we're going to figure out where we belong. But I'd say last weekend was very encouraging for our team. Um, and, and I think we will uh, do pretty well this year. How, what did you learn from your team uh, against Boston College besides a little bit nice of Alex Carpenter? What's the time Well, that, that for sure. Um, I would say just jumping from Lindenwood to BC, you couldn't get uh, more opposite games. Uh, the speed, the physicality, uh, the attention to detail, the 60 minutes of hockey, um, everything that we were able to do this past weekend was, was very encouraging. Our work ethic was out of this world. They worked their butts off uh, both games, and uh, I think it showed more in the second game where we had them to a goal, uh, basically down to the wire. A game against a team like Boston College, two games I should say against a team like Boston College, it is that kind of the perfect series that, that you would want before going into a, a top WCHA schedule? Yeah, I like it. I like how it set us up for this weekend. I think we gained a lot of confidence, learned a lot about our team, and I think we feel really good going into the weekend. So, it, it you know, some people might say, oh, you have to play the number two team second weekend of the year. I say it helped us out, and we learned a lot, and we got better, and I think we're ready to go. Uh, Maddie, how'd you feel she fared in, in goal? You threw her right into the fire there against BC. Yeah, we talked about that last week. You guys asked uh, what I thought about starting a freshman goalie, and I, I think she did a tremendous job. She handled it really well and kept us in the game the whole way through. Do you know if it's going to be her or Kayla, or have you made that choice yet for the movie? Still working all that out. You talk, you're talking about the Stalder's play so far. Yeah, she's been great. We've got Stalder playing with Bricklick and, and McGovern on our first line. And, um, you know, her creativity and her play off the puck is, is very good. And, um, you know, she told me she's not a goal scorer, but I tend to disagree with her because she's been putting the puck in the net pretty well for us this year. So, very happy with Stalder. And then Saturday night's uh, score wasn't really a reflection of how the girls played. So, what kind of things did you say to them in the locker room to kind of get their mind back in, you know, to playing? Yeah, I think, um, I think, like I said, our work ethic was off the charts. And if you work that hard, any time you put on the uniform, you give yourself a chance to win. Um, I think after that game, we, we all hate to lose, so we were disappointed with the result in the end. But I think, like I said, it was really encouraging to be playing the whole time through with the number two team in the country. We were right with them. Uh, a couple mistakes here and there that we're going we're gonna to fix, but I think we gained a lot of confidence and they believe in themselves and, and they're excited for the future. The Mitch is a team that's kind of been up and coming over the past couple of years in the WCHA. What do you expect out of them? Uh, obviously, a couple, I, I know you weren't here, but a tough series last year to, to end the year uh, for, for this team. Sure, yeah, they've had a good start to this season as well, and we're we're focused on 2015-16, um, and I, I think it's going to be a great series. They obviously have a very good goaltender. Uh, Steph Anderson up front for them is a national team player for the U.S., and they have, I mean, their recruiting is, is coming along, so they're going to be a great team, and uh, we're going to have to be ready. We're going to have to, you know, do a lot of the things that we did last weekend and, and take it to the next level. You know, I, I'm a big believer in attention to detail and doing the little things right because they lead to big things you know and that that can mean you know the start of the season the things we're doing at practice but also in a game paying attention to those those little details go a long way. When you look at this conference is Bemidji still the type of team that you really want to take points off of so that, that Minnesota and North Dakota Wisconsin series you know hopefully you can win those games and that will mean that much more uh, in terms of conference standings. Yeah absolutely these are two big two big games for us and uh, we want to win as many games as we can doesn't matter who's in the other jersey but uh, this is certainly one we have circled on the schedule. Going back to last weekend, uh, what was it like for you to be back on the East Coast? Uh, it was a lot of fun, thanks for asking. We had a ton of uh, family and friends uh, attend the games. I think UMD had a bigger cheering section than BC did. Uh, we were proud of that and uh, yeah, it was nice to be back. I played many a times or coached many times at Conti Forum and uh, you know, it was good to be back.
Knowing that you uh, can play with anyone after last week against BC, how, how excited are you to get a chance to play with another ranked opponent this week? Absolutely. That's a great point. Um, yeah, another top 10 team makes you better. If we can keep playing the best, we're going to elevate our game every weekend, and, and eventually we want to be in that top 10 and top 5 and top 3 and onward and upward. But we take every day uh, for what it is, and we try to get better every day. From week before the week one, now before week two, week three, where do you guys, where do you see yourself in the team right now, progressing to where maybe you want them? Yeah, like I said, last weekend we took a massive step in our work ethic, um, and that's something that's always going to be at the heart of my coaching philosophy: is outworking the opponents, being really tough to play against, and knowing, you know, regardless of anything else, who's in the lineup, who's not, how you're feeling, how you're not, we're going to give it 110 percent when we go out there. Um, so, so that was great, and I, I like to see that from our team. I saw more of that against BC than I had against Lindenwood, um, so I can, uh, we'll expect that to continue. I think our special teams got better uh, on the kill in particular. We shut down quite a few, I don't know exact, uh, quite a few BC power plays and that's a pretty pretty gifted power play over there so I was really happy about that. Uh, we did a great job on face-offs especially on Friday night I think we won 75 percent of the draws so that's a big you know that's one of the few areas in hockey that you can control the play so that's a possession play for us and and we like those little details those are the things I'm talking about. Going back to Stalder, was there any uh, conversation about moving her back to the blue line and when Shannon moved her up she had won an Olympic medal as a defenseman but you liked her in that forward role? You know, I like the fact that she can do both. I think uh, where we had numbers and where we needed her was, you know, we needed her up front. We had good numbers on D. So it's nice that you have a versatile player like that that can, can be exceptional at both spots. Is that rare in, in your experience to have a player that can be so good at, at both those positions? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's very unique. Because you only graduated about 15.4% of their uh, class team, how are you planning to stop their veteran board this weekend? Their veteran, their veteran core. core, yeah. I think our game plan stays the same um, in a lot of ways. Obviously, we're going to break down video and try to pick apart some of their their weaknesses. But I think it's important that you know who's on the ice at at certain times. You pay attention to those key players, but you don't get too bogged down in those details because hockey's a, a flow game. It's a fast game. If you try to shadow somebody, somebody else is going to hurt you. So I think we stick to our game plan. We try to get better. We work on what we're working on. And and uh, I think that will result in the success we're looking for.